Great to meet everybody. Tho is a, a, a nationally respected mind in the, the, the conservative movement. If you jump on Twitter or one of these horrendous uh, social media platforms for a minute, you'll see he influences people all around the country. And what he's saying about what's going on here is re reverberating with other people and getting other people to stand up and, and, and hold their elected officials accountable and to a higher standard, which, is, which brings me to why I'm running for office, why I've always run for office. I didn't originally want to run for anything. I didn't want to run for anything. What I was basically, what brought me to it is I looked at these Republicans, these weak, spineless, establishment, rhino, pushover Republicans that we had elected year after year after year and did nothing but play defense. And I said, I'm not going to allow my city commission or my state rep and, or my congressman be this kind of person. So first I ran for city commission, and of course my first most infamous thing was when they were attacking the Confederate monuments, I said, send all the Confederate monuments to Eustis, Florida, because apparently we have to protect them uh, outside of this woke leftism. And it, I became somewhat of a national figure for making what was somewhat of a tongue-in-cheek comment, but, this, but at the same time a very sincere concern with wokeism and the destruction of American history. They started with the low-hanging fruit. They started with, oh, well, you know, these Confederate generals are controversial. We'll start with them. Where are we at now? I think they're getting rid of George Washington in most of the, uh, the nation's cities. I think New York City just got rid of their Teddy Roosevelt statue two weeks ago from the public uh, from the Natural History Museum. So the weak Republicans who don't understand the nature of the left, don't understand what the left is up to and where it's going and how it uses things to gain power are, is our biggest problem. The biggest problem we have in the country today is the enormous deficit of courage amongst our elected officials. Now, I don't usually come traveling to counties to bash the local leadership, but I will tell you straight up, your legislative leadership here in Bay County is the definition of rhinos. Your state representative, Jay Trumbull, is an absolute pro-gun control, uh, complicit Democrat slash Republican who funds hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Democrat items across the state. The same people who are pushing uh, uh, abortion every single day in Tallahassee. George Gaynor, if he does know where he is on a certain day, generally he's voting half the time with the rhino leadership. So we need to get rid of that. I think one of the single most important elections in the state of Florida at any level, judicial, governor level, uh, you know, county, city, state senate, is the District 6 state house race right here in Bay County. I think the race between one of the only people I have endorsed in the state of Florida, Brian Cloudis, versus the traditional local defense-minded, safe Republican establishment will set the course for where we go forward as a state party. Are we going to start electing Republicans who are willing to defy the federal government when it comes to immigration, when it comes to this wokeism, vaccine mandates, are we going to lay back and continue to play defense and get nothing done and say, oh, gee, golly, we cut Walmart's taxes by 1% this year, so I guess we're conservative. Pat us, pat, pat us on the back. That is the question in this election. You could choose somebody like Brian Cloudis, who's going to pick up the bills that I've been filing in Tallahassee for the last few years, making E-Verify a mandatory law in the state of Florida so illegals can't come steal jobs and destroy our American culture constitutional carry so people aren't forced to go beg Nikki Free for permission to carry a gun for her own self-defense the next time there's a BLM riot in your city or town. Damn right. A heartbeat bill, not this 15-week stuff that just passed there today, this, this, this weak stuff. A true heartbeat bill to stop the, un, the unlimited amount of murders of unborn children here in the state of Florida. Six or seven other states have done it already, and yet the cowards in Tallahassee are holding up a harpy bill and stopping yep. the, dis the premeditated murder of unborn children here in the state of Florida. A bill to really crush social media censorship is here in the state of Florida, another bill that I've been working on for years. Rhinos in Tallahassee won't let it move. It's the Republicans killing conservative wins and the conservative legislation that we need in this country and the state. It's not the Democrats. Do not let them fool you. We have snakes in the grass, okay? You have Republicans that are taking the sacred trust that you instilled in them 
and they're wasting it. Worse, they're corruptly gaining from it. They're using their political office for material gain. They're helping themselves, their families, their cousins, their brothers, through the appropriation process, whatever, in government. Guess what they're not doing? Protecting your rights, securing your rights, protecting our American culture. In fact, they're, they're really ignoring the new and emerging threats that are rising every day that are threatening to literally destroy this country. We are out of time in this country. We're out of time. The people that are debating this week a bill to make strawberry shortcake the official dessert of the state of Florida, not deb debating gun rights, not debating life issues, not debating the role of government, the ability of a city to lock you in your home during the next scandemic. But instead of debating whether strawberry shortcake should be the official dessert to say for it, these are people who don't know what time it is. These are the same people in the late Roman Republic who were engaged in all types of crazy misdeeds right before the barbarians ripped to shreds the greatest republic in the history of the world before the United States of America. These are those people. It's time to start eliminating them and replace them with conservative, pro-American fighters that are going to stand with Donald Trump, stand with Governor DeSantis, and get some very good things done here in the frontier of freedom, the great state of Florida. Brian Cloudus is that man. District 6 is the race to watch. It's one of the reasons I agreed to come here today, is to spread the message on that. So God bless you. Thank you for having me. I'm running for Congress, by the way. As you can see, I don't really talk about that much, because my congressional run is just one small part of an America First movement, which and this might come as a shock to you, will not be led by politicians, right? I think elected officials could play a role. I try to play a role. But any important role I play in this movement is more of as an activist or a journalist than it is just a politician. It's the people that will fix what's happening in this country, okay? It wasn't politicians that ended the lockdowns in the United States. It was when a courageous woman who owned a hair salon named Shelley Luther in Dallas, Texas said, to hell with you, you're going to have to arrest me before I close my business down and fire the people who are working for me who have to put food on the table. You do not have the constitutional right to do that. And when they dragged her away in handcuffs, that's when all the governors and all the politicians around the country in mid-April said, you know what? I think we're in trouble now. I think we've lost the people and I think they're fed up and they've had enough. The people will lead this movement. The people will lead this movement. Yep. And it's the people in this room that will lead this movement. Do not put your faith in these politicians. They will screw you over every single Amen. time. It's time to start primary in their asses, throw them out of office, and take over this country ourselves. So thank you guys for the support. You can find me on all social media. Anthony Sabatini, I'm on Gab and Getter, all the way to Facebook and Instagram. And uh, website is sabatiniforcongress.com. Does Brian want to say a few yeah. words or anybody else? Okay, yeah.